Balenciaga is known for fashioning cutting-edge, ultra-modern pieces, straddling the edge of fashion and discovering the future of women's ready-to-wear fashion. Recently, they are in a mess following the problematic ad campaigns. One campaign featured children holding teddy bears dressed in bondage gear. The other showed a handbag placed on top of legal documents related to child pornography. The fallout began on November 16th, when Balenciaga published a campaign called Balenciaga Gift Shop. It was shot by Gabriele Galimberti, an Italian National Geographic documentary photographer. Mr. Galimberti had previously made a book featuring images of children with their toys, but he had never shot a fashion campaign before. His photographs featured six children clutching destroyed teddy bear handbags, which had first been seen in the brand's Spring 2023 runway show in Paris. The fluffy bears had black eyes, fishnet tops, and leather harnesses. Wine glasses and other gift items were displayed around them. According to Mr. Galimberti, the objects as well as the children and the location chosen for the shoot had all been selected by Balenciaga, with numerous staff members present during the two days of photography. Five days later, a second campaign Balenciaga's 2023 spring campaign with Adidas launched featuring photos of a collaboration purse placed in an office environment on top of a desk of legal papers. Eagle-eyed critics highlighted that one of the documents under the $3,000 Balenciaga X Adidas Hourglass handbag was a printed copy of the Supreme Court's 2008 U.S. v. Williams decision. That case examined if child pornography promotion was protected by free speech. So where did the copy of the Supreme Court decision come from? The documents came from numerous boxes rented from a prop house, a lawyer for Mr. Des Jodins, the set designer, wrote in an email statement. But all were supposed to be fake office documents, Balenciaga said in its November 28th statement. They turned out to be real legal papers, most likely coming from the filming of a television drama. Balenciaga, which had the images in hand for months before their release, called the inclusion of the Supreme Court page unapproved and the result of reckless negligence. Mr. Des Jodin's lawyer, in her statement, said that there certainly was no malevolent scheme going on. Balenciaga representatives were on set during the shoot, overseeing it and handling papers and other props, and Des Jodins, as a set designer, was not responsible for image selection from the shoot, she wrote. Ultimately, image selection would have fallen to the brand, which in its November 28th statement said that it took full accountability for our lack of oversight and control and could have done things differently. More photographs from an laid-off Balenciaga campaign are being questioned today over the book, which celebrates a Belgian artist whose work includes depictions of castrated toddlers. Two photos from the brand's now-cancelled Spring 23 ad campaign feature French actress Isabelle Huppert posing in a Manhattan office with a stack of books behind her. Among the books is one that celebrates the Belgian painter Michael Borromans. Borromans' work is varied but frequently features children. His 2017-2018 series, Fire from the Sun, shows a group of toddlers, some of them with blood staining their skin. As online criticism of the campaigns spread, the story was picked up across right-leaning media outlets, including the New York Post and the primetime Fox News show Tucker Coulson Tonight. The show has helped to publicize and mainstream QAnon, the internet conspiracy theory that a group of Satan-worshipping elites who run a child sex ring are trying to control our politics and media. Here you have a major international retail brand promoting kiddie porn and sex with children, Mr. Coulson told viewers on November 22nd, and not promoting it subtly but right out in the open. After the public outcry to boycott the brand, Balenciaga has apologized. The Spanish fashion label issued a statement to its Instagram story. We sincerely apologize for any offense our holiday campaign may have caused, the statement read. Our plush bear bags should not have been featured with children in this campaign. 
we have immediately removed the campaign from all platforms. The photographer who shot Balenciaga's recent controversial campaign has also distances himself from the campaign, has also issued a statement regarding the backlash. Gobri Elgalimbati addressed the criticism in an Instagram statement, which he said he felt compelled to make following the hundreds of hate mails and messages I received as a result of the photos I took for the Balenciaga campaign. He has been blamed for the controversy and that he has been inundated with messages from people furious over his involvement. According to Galimbati, who said he is concerned about his personal safety, 90% of the messages have come from individuals in the US. Luckily, I live in Italy and not in the States, he said, adding that he has received messages referring to him as a sick pervert. Many celebrities have also respond or ask to respond or distance away from the Spanish label. Kim Kardashian has revealed that she is re-evaluating her relationship with the luxury fashion house. As a mother of four, I have been shaken by the disturbing images, she said in a social media statement. Kylie Jenner has shut down a TikToker's claim that she posted family photos to distract from the Balenciaga scandal after the Kylie Cosmetics star shared never-before-seen pictures of her and Travis Scott's nine-month-old son. Jenner denied the accusation in a TikTok comment, writing, A high would I post my child to cover up for Balenciaga? This is why I don't do this. Always something to say. However, Nicole Kidman had not responded, and fans of Nicole Kidman are calling on the actor to release a statement regarding her relationship with Balenciaga amid backlash over the brand's recent ad campaigns featuring children. Kanye West, who criticized celebrities for not condemning Balenciaga's now infamous campaign, stepped out in Los Angeles wearing Balenciaga boots, but with the label covered with a sticker that read Year 24. It came after he claimed that the initial silence around the Balenciaga campaign shows you all celebrities are controlled. West, who was dropped by Balenciaga as a collaborator earlier this year following anti-Semitic comments he made on social media, told Paparazzi, You don't see no celebrities talking about the Balenciaga situation. All these celebrities out here, don't let them influence you in any way because they are controlled by the people who really influence the world. They are not serving God. The Spanish fashion label has not only apologized for the ads, but has also filed a lawsuit against the production company. Balenciaga is seeking $25 million in monetary damages. But recently, Balenciaga has dropped the lawsuit against them. A move that seems to salvage their brand from this scandal Balenciaga is by no means the first fashion brand to find itself mired in controversy over a tasteless ad campaign, but journalist Lorraine King believes this is not their first offense. She tweeted, I wish they had been cancelled when they started trolling working class people. I'm glad they finally are now. Terrible company. The accompanying tweet included images of Balenciaga products based on shopping bags and safety gear. Other examples from the luxury fashion house include a handbag modeled on a bag of potato chips. It's unclear what the long-term fallout for Balenciaga will look like. Its reputation could be significantly hurt by this, but the brand also has a history for being provocative and pushing the line. The trade publication Business of Fashion says it held the safety of children in the highest regard. In the United States, home to the world's largest luxury market, the reputational damage from the continuing firestorm could be seismic for Balenciaga, a brand more used to being lauded for its ability to tap into the cultural moment than excoriated for its mistakes. Please let us know if there's anything in particular you're interested in watching. If you like our videos, please subscribe and share it with your friends. Also, if you want more, just click on these videos.